Hi, this is Paul from Embroidery Source with another one of our Wilcom Tech Tip videos. Now, Haley Scholes, who normally provides Wilcom Tech support by phone here at Embroidery Source, told me that she gets a lot of calls from you guys asking about templates. So we thought this would be a good opportunity to uh, record a quick video um, so we can help you out. When you start a new design in Wilcom, it uses a template called Normal. And for example, if I right click on the text tool now to look at the text properties, you can see that the normal template has selected by default block two font and the size is set to 10 millimeters, center justification. Uh, if I look up here on the top menu, um, I can see that satin stitch is selected. And if I right click on satin stitch, I can see that my satin stitch is set for auto spacing and the value is set at 90. Um, auto underlay is turned off, pull compensation is turned on and if I right click on the pull compensation you can see that it's set to the default value of 0.17. Okay. Now normally if you're going to do some uh, a job now for very small text or, or you digitize a design for to be stitched on leather or denim or, or knitted fabric, you would have preferred settings that you would modify every time you do a new job. Templates allow me to basically change a whole bunch of settings very, very quickly. And I'll show you how we do it. Simply go to the file menu and I select new from template. Now this window opens and you'll see at the top here, the default template is called normal. I'm going to change that to a template that I created before, which is called ES Block 4 millimeters. You can give it any name you like. I select that, and the important thing here to note is you'll notice how Auto Fabric is not ticked. Um, if you leave it ticked, um, Wilcom takes hold of certain settings, uh, and you'll find that if you try to to adjust them, they'll be grayed out. That's because when you use the auto fabric setting, the auto fabric setting takes control of certain things like uh, pull compensation, stitch, stitch density, and it adjusts them automatically. So if you want to have manual control over these things, make sure you don't tick the auto fabric setting. Okay, so we've selected ES Block 4, we click OK. Now instantly you'll see my pull compensation value changed from 0.17 to 0.25 because that's the full compensation I prefer to use with ES block at small sizes. Now if I click on the lettering tool, right click on the lettering tool, you'll see now that my default font is ES block UR. That's the, the special uh, block font for use at very very small sizes. And you can see the height is automatically set to four millimeters. And of course you can create templates you can create one template for four millimeters, another at five, six, seven, as many as you like. So the font is pre-selected, the font height is pre-selected. Um, you can see that satin stitch is turned on. If I right click on the satin stitch tool, my satin stitch values now have also been changed. Auto spacing is turned off and it's now changed to a fixed satin stitch value. Um, I can also see here that Pull compensation, if I right click on that, we saw this one before, it's now set to 0.25. So you can go through and change a whole lot of different settings here in Wilcom that you prefer to use uh, for, for this particular job. And then you simply save those settings. So let's say for this, for this example of this exercise, I'm going to change the pull compensation to uh, 0.3. And that's all I want to do. Now, if I want to save this as a template, a new template, I simply go to the file menu and I drag down to where it says save as and then here in the save as type window I click here and scroll down to the bottom and you'll see the very the one at the very bottom is Wilcom EMB template. I click on that and here in the window at the top I can see my three existing templates. There's the standard Wilcom normal template, my ES Block 4 template and another one I created called Tatami Fill. This one I'm going to call it ES block 4 and I'll change the name to 4mm v2 and save. Okay so that's already done and you can see at the top of the window 
it says designing ES block four millimeters version two. Okay, so if I change back to uh, open new from template and I go to ES block four millimeters is there. My pull compensation is 0 0.25. Once again, new from template version two and instantly my pull compensation is changed to 0 0.3 as would all of the other settings that um, I had changed for my template. It's a very very quick way of changing a whole bunch of settings in uh, Wilcom uh, to save you time and of course if you have some uh, less experienced Wilcom users there um, you can pre-configure templates with the settings that you think give you the best quality and then a junior digitizer or, or member of staff would have the benefit of all of those settings that you've pre-configured. Okay, thanks very much for your time. I hope you found this uh, Wilcom Tech Tip video useful.